What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams. And in today's video, we're gonna learn how to create a quiz in WordPress website for free. In the previous video, we did learn how to install the WP QuizMaker free WordPress plugin and made a, a little presentation explaining the elements and how to use them. But now we're gonna go further and start by adding a quiz into a page or a post from our WordPress website. This is a quiz almost like the ones that everyone already saw in big portals like BuzzFeed, for example. So to apply a quiz, you need to install the plugin following the video that I'm gonna leave in a link in the description below and a card over here. And after that, the plugin will automatically create some questions and a quiz. Before we can edit the quiz and apply new questions, let me just put a, the quiz into a page. Go to WordPress, dashboard, pages or posts and add new. Copy the plugin short code that in my case is this one and post into the page. Now, publish the page and we are good to go. Here's our quiz, the date of creation, the quiz title, the description, and a little start button, followed by a heading footer. Once it's a mathematical quiz, you can see mathematical questions, but of course you can edit any question that you want. Let me just complete the quiz so you can see the process and how fun it is. This is perfect to make users spend more time to our website. After finish, the user can hate the quiz, offer some feedback and even share it on the social medias like LinkedIn, Facebook or Twitter. Here's the quiz result and my comment. If you refresh the page, you're gonna be able to see the quiz again. Now, let me go back to the quiz page, the WP Quiz Maker dashboard, and go to Mathematical Quiz. That is the quiz that we just have added onto our page. The very first option is title. Now, you can apply an image to this quiz, like a quiz logo type, for example. I'm just gonna select one image from my media library, but feel free to use the one that fits on your design. This is just an example to occupate and populate the spaces. Now to the questions, but let me see the results. Here's our quiz now. Let me go back to the quiz maker and now the description, we will not gonna change the category. I do recommend that you apply some categories to your quizzes, especially in the case that you want to have more quiz on your site. Now, add question. You can add a question to your quiz, whoever. Where is this question? Seems like we only have three questions and we are using all of them. If you have a look into the left side of buttons, you can see next to the quizzes an option calling questions. And you can add new questions to your quizzes. You can add the question description, that is the question itself, and the answers. You need to mark the correct one. And if you are a pro user, you have extra features, but no need for it by now. You can even apply an image to this question. So. 400 minus 100 and the correct answers gonna be the first one that is 300 now let me just populate the others with incorrect questions with wrong questions and it's all we need to do of course you can drag and drop the, the selectors so we can change the positions. But here is our new question. Now, if you go back to the quizzes, 
you can click on add question and now select our new question and apply it into the field into the field save changes as you can see it's very easy to drag and drop the questions to reorganize now to the style that is the last thing that we're gonna did on this video I'm gonna do another video in some days to explore more about this plugin that is really complete but this is already a good starting point into the style the very first option to play with is the theme you have some themes to play with i like the dark one but it needs to change according to your site colors and styles and you have text color, button text color, quiz widget, max widget, max and min widget, quiz title transformation, like uppercase or lowercase or capitalized, the image widget, the image page, the image sizing, it's set to cover, but you have other options to play with, the borders, there's people that love, there's people that hate, but we have borders to play with. You can even add a background image to the quiz card. The percentage styles, a couple of extra options to premium users and the right and wrong answers icons. And in addition, you can, send, you can change the question text alignment. As soon as you finish your changes, you hit the save button. Just don't forget that in the case that you like CSS, you can apply custom CSS styles to this plugin. And this is the result we have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes and our YouTube channel for more video tutorials using these plugins and many others. An important note, if I final note, it's the fact that all the visualmodel.com WordPress themes are fully compatible with this amazing plugin. And I see you later. All the best!